in ever history. There has never been a confrontation between a nuclear powered submarine and an enemy destroyer. A destroyer is a high speed and maneuverable warship. It is capable of long term operations at sea. For the purpose of escorting larger warships, convoys, or a fleet against small, close, powerful opponents such as missile warships or torpedo boats. Destroyers today tend to be stronger and larger, capable of operating independently. Missile destroyers such as the Alibur class of the US Navy with a length of 155 meters, a full load displacement of 9,200 tons, and more than 90 missiles, are compatible to that of a missile cruiser class. And nuclear powered submarines are operated by the nuclear reactors on board, so the submarine did not have to float to recharge. Therefore, the vessel does not have to be on the surface as often as possible. Nuclear submarines have complex technology, huge weapon pillows, deep diving, and long-lasting underwater durability. Only a few countries have the capacity to build nuclear submarines because the cost of nuclear technology is so high. Currently, the only countries that own nuclear powered submarines are the United States, Russia, China, Great Britain, France, and India. In the inventory of modern naval powers, nuclear powered submarines and destroyers are a pair of rival heroes that counter each other. In the confrontation between the two sides, nuclear submarines generally have certain inherent advantages, its secrecy and excellent detection capabilities. In most cases, nuclear powered submarines have an advantage in confrontation. However, if a nuclear submarine and a destroyer of the same level of technology detect each other at the same time. The destroyer is more likely to gain a confrontational advantage. The current advanced types of nuclear submarines and destroyers, both equipped with advanced detection systems and long-range weapons, such as the Alibur class Aegis combat system, and the ladies American Virginia class nuclear power submarines. The sonar detection range of these vessels is more than 100 km, of which the Alibur class destroyers are equipped with anti submarine helicopters and the RUR 5 ASROC anti submarine missile, which can search for and attack against submarine. 200 km range. The Virginia class nuclear power submarines themselves are also powerful. Attack weapons include 12 submarine launched Tomahawk cruise missiles, more than 30 Mark 48 heavy torpedoes, and Harpoon anti ship missiles. These weapons can effectively attack surface ships even larger ships such as cruisers and aircraft carriers. Therefore, modern nuclear submarines are compatible to destroyers in terms of combat effectiveness. In a head-to-head -head naval war, if a nuclear submarine and the destroyer detect each other, then the nuclear submarine has lost its advantage that is the factor of secrecy. And once a nuclear submarine loses its ability to hide, it is like driving with headlights at night, 
even though the destroyer is on the headlines. But the equipment and defense capabilities of destroyers are much stronger than those of nuclear submarines. One of the advantages that a surface ship has is speed. The destroyer itself, which is equipped with a large number of intercepting devices and weapons, such as surface jam missiles, short range anti aircraft cannon, and electronic jamming devices. Because of this, the destroyer has strong defense against anti ship missiles, cruise missiles, and even summary launched torpedoes. As for a submarine, when it has lost the advantage of stealth, if it is attacked by submarine hunting weapons such as torpedoes, submersible bombs, anti submarine missiles from destroyers, and also from a submarine hunting helicopters. The submarine had only one way to quickly dive as deep as possible and maneuver away from the pursuit of destroyers and submarine hunting aircraft. In fact, submarines and destroyers rarely meet in close confrontations. If this happens, the submarine will normally attempt to escape to avoid being detected by the surface ship. Although the performance of modern nuclear power submarines is much stronger than DSR electric submarines, the combat effectiveness of modern destroyers has long been different. My video of a hypothetical confrontation between a destroyer and a nuclear power submarine ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.